drag blues instructor for how to dance drag blues our youtube series on learning drag blues dancing this video is an addendum to part two uh, how to dance drag blues walking uh, and this is to give more context to the development of the walking style and the technique uh, and so i'm going to take you through a journey uh, of some techniques that that are, are influenced by earlier blues styles uh, give you a little bit of context to that uh, and then to, to help you develop your drag blues basic. And so here we go. I'm gonna start with the slow drag. So uh, the slow drag is considered one of the earlier blues steps. And perhaps in our current contemporary blues scene, it's considered the blues basic. Uh, it's danced to more of a traditional blues genre, such as Delta blues or Chicago blues. And it looks like this. It's, it's when you go side to side, and uh, you, you, you have a downward bounce, a downward energy. You're bending the knees. Uh, you know, we're bent at the hips here. You might send your rhythm, your energy going back, which we call pendulum pulse, or you might just vertically drop it down. Uh, but you wanna make sure that you engage your legs so that you don't put pressure on your knees. Uh, and so this is the slow drag. And, and sometimes we might go slow with it. We might relax. But the key traits that we're going to take out of the slow drag for drag blues are this idea of falling or sinking into the ground on the step. And so we go and dropping it down. We rise so we can drop it down, right? So that idea of falling. The second idea is this idea of being relaxed. And so you want to make sure that all your muscles are relaxed. The slow drag is a partner dance here. It's about being relaxed versus maybe having a more uh, rigid frame. Uh, and the last idea that we're going to take from slow drag uh, that will influence our drag blues is this idea of lagging behind the music. Uh, so you have that straight rhythm there, but your movement is going to go a little bit behind it, right? Even if the, if the rhythm, uh, the tempo slows down, you're going to slow down a little bit behind that too, right? So this idea of lag, right? So as we develop our drag blues basic, we have this moments, these moments of lag in our movement. Right, behind the music. So the next influence that I'm gonna to talk to you about is strut. Uh, not to be confused with strutting, uh, which, which is another blues dance under the lens or the umbrella of jukin. Uh, strut is, 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 as I've read it in jazz, American vernacular dance, it's a purple book, um, is from New Orleans. And it's perhaps a dance that might be done uh, to, to, in, in lead of a marching band. Uh, and so it's this idea that you're going to strut around the room or the street, leading a marching band, and we're going to take some things from this movement here that we're going to call the strut basic for drag blues. And the strut basic is going to have four elements. The first is it's going to have a lean, right? We're going to lean in the, in the direction away from where we're going. And so if I'm going to go forward, I'm going to lean back as I strut versus leaning into it, which would make it more like this, a little bit funnier, right? So we're gonna lean back, okay? The second, that we, the second element that we get uh, from strut is uh, the extension of the leg, right? To extend out the leg as we go around the room. The third element is the contra body movement or the contralateral movement for the full term. And that's that your chest and your hips and your pelvis are going to go in op opposition, right? So for example, if I just look at you in the camera here, and I twist my chest like so, at these moments of twisting and twisting, that's a contralateral moment. That's against the, the side 
against the side of our body. Um, and so strut is going to have that element of contralateral movement, that twist in the body. And then the fourth element is a replacement step. So this idea of replacing underneath you, right? And so uh, oftentimes we can look at another dance from New Orleans, the cakewalk. The movement might be seen like this, right? This is a typical uh, cakewalk movement with high kicks and level changes. Well, what we're gonna take into this um, is uh, this idea of the contra body's consistent. You'll notice an extension of the leg, such as strut. You'll notice a change in the lean, but now cakewalk can teach us about the replacement step that we replace underneath us. We replace underneath us. Replace, 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 replace. And so we can take that movement, this cakewalk movement, and as we move forward, it kind of becomes the strut movement, very similar, right? And so instead of just walking and extending like this, which we're going to do in a minute, we're going to replace and extend. So a little hop type feeling as we go around the room, okay? Uh, in looking through the lens of cakewalk movement to help understand strut a little bit more clearly. Uh, the last thing I, I would take away from the cakewalk, which will help us with our drag blues, is the idea of transitions. Uh, you'll notice that as we kick one leg, we twist. As we kick the other leg, we twist the other way or we do contra body movement. But as we switch to going down, where our leg is gonna go back, what doesn't change here is the twist, right? So in order to stay in contra body movement, I keep that chest position the same. But when I switch underneath me, when I replace underneath me, I change. But watch this transition again. I'm gonna keep my chest there, and it helps me to maintain contralateral movement. And so as we kick, replace, replace, we hold it on those transition moments, we hold it, we switch, we hold, we hold, right? So if you don't keep the chest while you transition during the replacement step, it becomes homolateral movement. So watch again, maybe from the side this time. So I go, contra body, contra body. If I twist the chest during this replacement, homolateral, homolateral. So what we can take from cakewalk to help us understand our, uh, our basic, our drag moves basic a little bit more, is that during these moments of transition, keep the, ch the chest twisted. Right here, keep it twisted. So now I maintain contralateral movement. See, what does strut look like going backwards? Right, this is what it looks like going forward. Well, we can look to cakewalk to help us with that. This cakewalk has a similar shape to strut, at least when it goes forward, right? So we're gonna look to cakewalk for determining our shape going backwards, and this is it. We still have the extension, we still have the twist, and, uh, and, and we're going to replace, uh, and we have our lean, right? And so this here is our strut basic going back, 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 back. Replace, extend, replace, extend, replace, extend, replace, twist, right? Going forward. Boom, ba, da, da, going back. Two, three, four. So next we're gonna practice a style uh, which we call drag walks. Um, a lot of Lindy Hoppers in our current community call it the slow drag. Uh, in our blues community, we call this more of a ballroom uh, style of blues. Uh, it's a dance that we might see in the movie The Spirit Blues. It's a documentary on swing dancing and has a blues chapter, which really has a lot of great information on sharing some of the aesthetics of, uh, of the Savoy Lindy Hoppers um, doing blues dancing. And so, what I'm going to call drag walks, uh, just to, which, which for me would fall under the umbrella of ballrooming, I want you to know a couple things. The first is the contra body is still present. We have the contra body, right, versus walking and homolateral movement, okay? 
So contra body in our drag walk. So if we were to do a drag walk dip, we'd end in contra body movement, okay? Not in homolateral movement such as this. Although you could for style, okay? Uh, or for, for creative intention. So uh, the second thing that we want to take from drag walks is this idea of suspension, that we're going to hold ourselves in the air as we move forward, right? Much, again, if, if you consider the umbrella of ballrooming, how swing dancers may have brought ballroom into the dance uh, that they do, right? This idea that there might be a suspension in the walk, okay? And so when I, or if I were to do it more in like a blues context, there's this maybe a little bit of a push, right, in my walk, but this moment of suspension, suspension, there's this hold up in the air. And so in the drag walk, we want the same thing. I want the suspension and step, right? Suspension, step, going backwards. Suspension, step, suspension, step, suspension, step, okay? And that's gonna help us to move around the room a little bit more cleanly uh, versus having to like drop, 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 drop each step, right? We're gonna hold ourselves up and prepare for the step. And as we land, we're gonna land collected over our feet here, our chest over our feet, and we can move around in this drag, walk fashion, okay? But we have a suspension. An important tip for learning to drag walk is that when your foot uh, lands, you want to make sure that it lands a little bit in front of you so that when you transition your weight, your body's stacked up. Oftentimes when dancers try drag walks with a partner, they might transition with the foot a little early so then they have like this lean and constantly holding tension in their legs as they walk. But if they just step a little further, they can release that tension right in their body to relax into the connection. The last thing about this drag walk is we're going to absorb into the ground, up and then down, up and down, up and down, and down, and down, and down. We suspend and drop the down, down, which is different from your strut basic. So your strut basic was up and holding yourself up, leading that procession, having a really great time, right? Whereas your drag walk is gonna land down, and down, and down, and down. Okay, so we covered some dances here. Now we're gonna talk about what is your drag blues basic? Well, your drag blues basic is a combination of these three steps, okay? And uh, we're gonna take it maybe from, uh, let's build it backwards. So we'll take it from, from the top there, right? Starting with the drag walk. So if I take my drag walk and I'm going to remember this idea of suspension, this idea of holding yourself up and up. And what you'll notice is that it naturally will lead into a shape such as your strut and shape that you can put into that drag walk shape. So here's my drag walk shape as the contra body movement, but it has that suspension. And so, boom, I can reach that suspension and now I can start pushing into my strut basic. So it's going to be that push. So instead of replacing, I'm going to bring that suspension moment in, but I still got to shape the strut basic. So that's part two of building your drag loose basic, is now that you have the suspension from drag walks, we're bringing in the strut shape, okay? And that's important. The strut shape is the shape of drag loose, okay? So I have my suspension, my strut shape. There are four things that you need to remember. The first was the lean, the twist, the extension, and the last element was this idea of replacing to extend, replacing. So now we gotta combine all of those elements, right? So we're gonna start with the lean, start with the twist, we got the extension, now we gotta combine it with the suspension of drag walks, okay? And so we're gonna suspend drag walk, we're gonna sink into it as we extend into the strut shape. So we extend into the strut shape, extend, we sink down into it, sinking down. So it's no longer a drag walk where I step right away. I have this extension in my walks where I could say I have this strut shape, okay? Now, uh, what we want to remember about drag blues 
is that the magic of drag blues is not about stepping, right? It's not about going step, 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 step. Because if it were, we could maybe dance drag blues more like our drag walk where we go step, 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 step. In which, in this scenario, we go, we go contra body and step at the same time. Contra body and step. And so as we walk, we're doing both the shape and the step. That's the drag walk, but not drag blues. So now let's talk about the drag blues. So drag blues is going to be step and then shape. I'm gonna push to step and then shape. So I do more that suspension step, suspension and shape. Suspension, shape. Suspension go into my strut posture. Now push it push and shape. And so this one is more like a two part, right? Where you have the step and then the shape. So back to the magic of drag blues. We say that the magic of drag blues is in the shapes that we can create in drag blues, right? This idea of moving around the floor and having a dance of shapes, right? Well, that comes because we focus on the in between the steps. We focus on the, the, the times when we're not moving forward, the times where we're here and balanced, right? And then we can step. We're here and balanced, step. Balanced and shaping, step. Balanced and shaping, right? Shaping, I didn't step, it's all about the shape. And then we can maybe push into that step, right? So the idea that we shape in between the steps, so that's where we blend in, where we fuse in drag walks, and strut, okay? Step, shake, step, shake, push, suspend, shake. Okay, now back to slow drag, right? This idea of being relaxed, of lagging behind the music, of this idea of a downward energy, which is also present in our drag walks already. So now let's relax our bodies, right? Let's, let's lag the music. Right, so it allows us to go slower or fill in that shape as we walk with a partner. And let's take it from the top. So our drag loose basin. Step, shape, make sure you're relaxed. And shape, and shape it. And so going backwards, it would look like this, right? I shape it, and I gotta push. And then I shape after I step, and then push. And then I shape, push, shape. So it's no longer a replacement step. Right? It's a pushing step. Push. Push in shape. But look, I'm not going. Right? My energy going back, right, doesn't make me do this. If it does do that, you ready? Here's your drag loose basic. And we push. And we push. We push across the floor. Right? But if I if I take my foot where it's at and I just transfer my weight, that is a drag walk shape. We've just lost our drag blues, so watch again. If I extend, I just commit my weight. Drag walk, drag walk, drag walk, right? But look at your drag blues basic. I extend, I push, extend. That's the ending of the drag blues basic. Push, extend, push, extend, right? Versus again, just drop it, just drop it, right? The shaping and the step are together versus the step follow the shape. The step follow the shape. The step follow the shape. So what I would like to encourage the followers to do, you have two approaches. One is maybe more um, of, of a, a, a connected approach where you're going to ask the leaders to connect to your legs and move your legs and move your legs and move your legs because they're right here. They're connected in front of you. What I would like to encourage you, because I think it will help us with our drag blues basics, is as the leaders walk forward in this fashion, I want you to take on a little bit more of that strut, okay, that strut basic. So you're gonna be walking back like this, right? Not quite a full push, right? But the extension, so extend the leg out of the way and then push, where your leader's pushing in front of you. So extend to push. So as the leaders go forward, uh, do, uh, do, uh, do, 
I want you to extend and then drop, extend, drop, extend, drop. So the key to knowing the signal for the extension is the twist of the chest. Twist of the chest as the leaders go is your cue for, okay, extend, extend. Now, knowing that, uh, I recommend the followers to extend both times, whether it's the drag walk or the drag blues basic. Um, uh, the key is how the leader pushes, okay? If the leader pushes down, up to go down, that's your drag walk. If the leader pushes forward, more of a horizontal pulse instead of this vertical pulse, that's your drag blues basic, right? So you have to also learn to control your weight transfer. Okay, so let's review, okay? So we got our slow drag, which is underneath us, right? Moving side to side, we're relaxed, we drop down, right? We push up to go down, and we lag the music. Our strut basic is similar to the cakewalk, where we replace and extend our feet, replace and extend our feet, we got the twist, we got the lean, the replacement step. When I go backwards, cakewalk can teach us that posture. So we replace, we replace, replace. It shows us the shape that our strut basic might be going forward, but backwards we have this lean. So now strut basic going backwards is like this. Replace, shape, replace, shape, replace, shape. Now we bring in drag walks. Drop it down, drop it down. Suspend, drop it down. There's this idea of suspension and shaping as we walk, in between the walk and step. As we walk and as we step, we go and twist, we twist. We wanna remember the suspension step, okay? So now, bringing those together for your drag loose basic, we're gonna take our strut basic or our strut posture, combine it with that idea of suspension, Right? And then we can sink down and go, sink down and go. We're going backwards, sink down and go, sink down and go, sink down and go. That's your drag blues basic, okay? So the last thing as, as, you, as you reflect on, on these influences in creating your drag blues and, and the different stepping styles in which we might make in our drag blues dancing is uh, is, is our values, you know, perhaps the values that I want for you. That's value number one, controlling the shapes of your body. And what I mean by that is your contra body and your homolateral, right? Well, and to control when you make those shapes. So for example, switching here, or excuse me, not switching here, versus having it here, it, it, it changes the basic, it changes where we would be. Okay, value number two, I want it to be controlling your weight transfer, which is why I'm putting up this video, because we have a couple different ways of stepping when we do drag blues, right? This idea of slow drag, stepping down, letting our feet come together, maybe adding some movement to that, right? As we go with our partner, okay? Or a different type of stepping is that strut where we place underneath us, where you were placed underneath us, or your drag walk, where we suspend and step out, and out, and out, and down, and down. Or the last one is your drag blues basic, where you do a mix of that, where you push and extend, 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 extend. Different from replace, replace, replace. It's a push, extend, push, extend, push, extend. And then, as you master your balance, you're gonna meet the third value that I would have for you, of squishiness, of being relaxed as you do your drag blues dancing, whichever basic step you choose. Having that relaxed legs, uh, having your legs relaxed, your body relaxed, and just having the control of when you might bring tone into the connection and into the movement. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me at Joe and Nell.com. Uh, if you, I would encourage you to go watch the other videos to understand some of the exact technique. Uh, if you'd like to dive deeper of Jack Blues, there are five other ones 
and this is video 2.5, so it's only half of a video, but I also think it's an important one. Thanks so much. Feel free to email me anytime. Feel free to write anytime too. I appreciate it. I'll see you later. Oh, you know that the night time, ooh, is the right time to be with the one you love. Ooh, yeah. Don't you know, baby? Yeah.